So, <clears throat> in this Noble Eightfold Path, the Buddha is avoiding the two extremes which he mentioned at the beginning of his first sermon. He said that indulgence in sense pleasures was one extreme, and the practice of self-mortification was the other extreme. You find that mentioned at the beginning of the first sermon. So, this Noble Eightfold Path is a middle path, the middle way. And the Buddha was not an extremist in anything. He gave um, <clears throat> the simple teaching to a monk called Sona. Sona, in lay life, before he became a monk, had been a lute player. A lute is a stringed instrument. And he had said to Sona, when you played your lute, if you made the strings too tight, you did not get the right note. If you made the strings too slack, you also did not get the right note. You have to have the right balance between tension and slackness. So, again, this middle path is the avoidance of both of these extremes. The path I've written up here on the, on the board all start with the word samma. Samma is usually translated as right. Right in the sense that this is something leading to your welfare and the welfare of others. And um, we can see the very practical nature of a lot of this teaching. The Buddha did not want to come up with a lot of intellectual theories and have a lot of learned discussions. His teaching needs to be understood, of course, but above all it has to be practiced. <clears throat>